Thank you, Your Worship. I've been waiting a lot of years uh, for Regina to have a plan that includes more bicycle infrastructure. Now you have the opportunity to improve the safety and convenience of Regina for people moving around it. Two years ago, Councillor Young was quoted in the Leader Post about the Transportation Master Plan. I quote, we're hoping we'll, we get to talk about it in early 2016 and then we'll bring it forward for the 2017 budget. She also said the reason for the delay is the expansiveness of the TMP. Quote, we need time to take it apart and ask how it was done and what the methodology and who we have, con and, sorry, and who have you consulted with, she added. We aren't ready to take it public, we need more information. So a majority of council wasn't here in 2011, but I was as a member of the public and the president of a corporate stakeholder actively involved in Design Regina and then the TMP planning meetings. I, so I hope you'll consider my insight into the plan, having been involved with it since the beginning. We each have our own vision for what Regina can be. Some want smarter cars, others want safe cycling, infrastructure, some great transit, and others are pleased with how things are now and want nothing to change. That last option is the worst and must not be permitted by this council if Regina is to be successful in growing. I often hear members of council expressing their desire to see Regina grow, yet the voting tends toward policies that keep the status quo. Regina now favors automobile traffic over active, healthy and happy people. Eight out of 10 people in Regina go to work in a private car. Regina cannot grow as laid out in the official community plan if eight out of 10 people use cars as their primary mode of transportation. Young people want to move to Regina or stay here if their quality of life will be better than it is in Toronto, Winnipeg, Saskatoon, or Assiniboia. If we offer them traffic jams, parking tickets, no commuter cycling infrastructure, and mediocre bus service, they will, will they choose to be here over there? Regina is presently poised to miss the boat. TMP moves us toward catching it before it sails. Here's a short list of problems I think the TMP might help us fix in the near future. Parking minimums, soaring bus fares, the loss of regular bus service to Saskatoon and most Saskatchewan cities, no bicycle infrastructure installed during sidewalk and road repaving happening today on Broad Street and 13th Avenue and elsewhere. Today, I mean, we could do it as they're repaving. Lacking evening and weekend express bus routes. I hope that you'll all support the TMP and with it, the review of antiquated bylaws intended for an outdated and now harmful reality of a bygone century. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Klein, for your presentation. Uh, we'll see if there's questions from members of council. I think you made yourself clear. Thanks. Thank you very much.